Hey you guys, coming here again uh, for another Knife Review vid. Uh, don't judge me, but it is 12.45 a.m. reason I'm doing this is, believe it or not, I am bored as hell. And I just got this knife about six days ago, and I wanted to do a review on it because I have given it a little bit of time. So uh, we're going to go over this. This is the Spyderco Tenacious. Uh... It is a decently cheap blade, pricing between $40 and $50. And uh, we're just going to go over it today and see how you guys like it. Alright. First of all, the overall length of the blade is... Oops, I'm an idiot. Alright. Overall length of the blade is 7 and 3 quarters inches long. So it is somewhat long not a huge knife it is a medium to medium large folder in my opinion a um, little bit bigger than I usually like to carry but it's been working so no big deal uh, the blade length itself so just the blade length is three and three eighths inches long so it is um, under the four inch uh, parameter here in Minnesota for carrying so yep that's that the steel type actually you'll be able to see it 8CR13 MOV. God, that's blurry. Is there a way I can get that better? Nope. Just sucks because I'm using my phone. Why am I surprised? Um, 8CR13 MOV steel. Uh, not a super steel because it is a budget folder, but um, it came out of the box so sharp that I literally have. I don't know if you guys can see this. Not really. I shaved my arms with this little bald spots all over my arm because I shaved um, hair off with this thing. It was so sharp when it came out of the box and I've been using it and it's just as sharp as when it came out of the box. Uh, closed length is 4 and 7 16 inches uh, long. It is bulky. It is a bulky blade. That is the thing that is a little bit down on it for me is that it is thick and it's got a belly and it's big. Now, if you're pulling this out on someone for self-defense, they ain't gonna fuck with you. They're just not. And that's the reality of having a bigger knife, is they're not gonna screw with you when you pull this thing out. God, I have oily hands. That's disgusting. I'm sorry. Um, the opening mechanism, what well, is a liner lock, as are most of my knives. Um, and the opening mechanism is the thumb hole right here. Um, which substitutes the thumb studs that you usually see. Um, my hands are small, so it's a little bit harder to open for me, but most people don't have a problem with it. Um, so that's no biggie. The uh, thickness of the blade is an eighth of an inch. So it has a pretty thick uh, spine, which is cool. Full flat grind, which is why it's so sharp to begin with, which I love about this knife, just the overall sharpness that it had when it came. Um, it is four ounces uh, for the weight, which is pretty decently hefty for a knife that you're going to be carrying around with you every day. Um, you know you have this on you, which I kind of like, to be honest with you. Most, uh, most knife enthusiasts that you'll see talk about how they love their knives to be so light that they completely forget they have them on them. Well, I don't like that. You know, I mean, it's nice, you know, to, to not feel the blade in your hand, you know, in your pocket and having it clunking around and crap, but I like to know I have my knife. You know, of course, you should know you, if you have a knife on you at all times, no matter what, but you're not going to forget you have this. Because say you go to a place where they don't want you to be carrying a knife on you and you forget you have it on you because guess what? You've been carrying it in your pocket all the time and it's so light that you're just like, yeah, I don't have anything on me. This you're going to know you have on you, no matter what. Um, it doesn't matter, you know, where you have it, in your back pocket, front pocket, clipped to your belt, clipped somewhere else. It's heavy enough to where you know it's there, which I like. The handles on it are so good for EDC G10 handle scales, which I like a lot. Um, very grippy, very good for um, everyday use. There's jimping on the back of the spine, which you can use for your thumb. When you're doing all your slicing stuff, which I like. Um, I wish I had a free hand, because I would show you how thick this damn thing is. Can I do this? No, not gonna happen. 
forget it. Um, so that's cool about it. The G10 on it is really good, really grippy. Um, if you can find a uh, handle material of G10, that's what you should get. Cause it, in my opinion, just works. It is unfortunately made in China. Oh no. If you are really so against Chinese uh, merchandise, then go buy a Benchmade. But I can guarantee you, you're not going to find a Benchmade of, believe it or not, and I'm actually saying this, because I now own a Benchmade, and I have now used it, and I am using it compared to this, and guess what? You are not going to find a Benchmade, and this is true, it is 100% true, do not tell me I am lying. You will not find a Benchmade for this cheap, for this good of quality. You will not not possible because Benchmade is giving you that hundred to three hundred dollar price range because it's really fucking good. If you bought a Benchmade that was forty to fifty dollars, it would not be in the same league as this for quality. Okay? It's just the truth. Spyderco did an absolutely fantastic job with this knife. Full flat grind makes it unbelievably sharp. The handle material on it is perfect. The centering on it is perfect. The, uh, some people don't like the uh, thumb hole design, which I get, but I don't mind it at all. Um, eh, maybe I do. I don't know. No, it works. Um, not for me. I have small hands, but, you know, and the other thing about it, just this is just for me, and I'm sure you guys are seeing this, and I'm sure it's kind of gross, and I'm sorry, but my hands get oily sometimes, and that's I don't like touching having, having to actually touch my actual knife every time I open and close it. As you can see on it, you know, I brought the blade to you brand spanking shiny new, and um, it's oily now. Here, I'm going to pause the video real quick, wipe it off, and show you what the difference is. Again, and that is after about 20 seconds of wiping, you can see all the oil on it is gone. And that's just kind of gross. I don't want that all over my knife, you know? You can still see it on the other side where I smudged it. I don't like that, but I think that's just more my hands than the actual knife itself. Whatever. No big deal. Uh, I already told you guys the price is between $40 and $50. There's not much else to this knife. I really wish... I might be buying a camera soon that I can just place somewhere and just show you guys. Because doing this on my phone isn't a big deal, but I can't show you guys how it cuts. And that's honestly the biggest part of it. But I guarantee that this cuts just as well, if not better, than any other knife you can buy for this price. So, um, that is the Spider Co. Tenacious. Um, if you guys have any questions, I will be sharing this on Facebook. If you guys actually give a crap, uh, any questions on it. Oh, actually, before I end, pocket clip. Pocket clip works wonderfully. Very, uh, long, very deep. It is tip, what is it, tip down carry. Uh, it is interchangeable. Hey, that is what we didn't like about the CRKT Ripple, is that the... <laughs> The, spy, uh, the pocket clip wasn't interchangeable. It is on the spider Spyderco, which is nice. I like that a lot. Uh, actually, I prefer it the way it is anyways. So I lift, left it, but um, pocket clip has the Spyderco logo on it. I like the, the way they did it. I'm glad they, uh, well, at least the way that I bought it, I like the stainless steel. You know, I don't like the blackened uh, coated steel. I like the stainless steel on the pocket clip. Pocket clip works incredibly well. It goes incredibly deep into the pocket. Good stuff. And that should be it. Any other questions you guys have, let me know. Um, if you guys want to see more, let me know. Uh, watch it. Hit the like button. I'll share it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.